Hey, I'm back with another library haul. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome. I'm so glad you could join me. Today I have for you uh, a library haul. Um, some books for school, some fun just picture books for my youngest who just turned five. He just had a birthday, which is very exciting. He's so big. And some things, some books that are helping us kind of plan something for next school year. So I'll share that with you. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of in a new place. <laughs> this is actually where we do our schoolwork, not in our schoolroom. Um, but my kids are playing outside right over there. So I'm kind of trying to keep an eye out on them. So let's get to it. Uh, I'll show you what we're working on for next year. My oldest is really interested in mythology. Um, she read, has read, she started with the Percy Jackson series and that just totally set her off on this fascination with mythology. So we are going to do next year um, a like world mythology class for an elective for her. She'll be in high school next year, which is scary. Um, but I went ahead and picked up a couple books at the library that I want to look at as possible, possibly using as spines. Um, and then we're going to be doing some other, I'm not 100% sure yet. So I'm, the possibility is using like a book like one of these. So the first one I grabbed is the Handy Mythology book, which I love, um, mythology answer book. I love the cover of this one. It really draws me in and I like... I feel like I like the layout of it. It goes into Egyptian mythology. So they're all divided up. So it's who were the ancient Egyptians? What language did the ancient Egyptians speak? Um, and then it goes into what is the Rosetta Stone? Um, when was writing developed in Egypt? And what was its significance for mythology? So it go, and then it goes into Egyptian religion and mythology. And I like that it asks questions. Like, I, I don't know, I like that format a lot. So I actually like this. I just feel like it just kind of looks boring, but I like the layout of it. And this one is, um, this is Mythology of the World. And it says, Mighty Gods, Fearsome Goddesses, and Legendary Creatures. The Origins and History of the World's Most Captivating Myths. And this one I like. This one reminds me very much of like a DK type book or something like that. Um, where you get the really big images and things like that. And little bits of information onto the millions of picture books I got. I never, like, we returned a lot of books. I think we returned, I don't know, at least 20, maybe more. I don't know but I got quite a stack. They're still in the back. I will show you. Ooh. I don't know what happened to our library bag. My kids took it and I don't know what happened to it. The light bag I usually use. And uh, so today we use the Target bag. But this is a big stack of picture books. That's a big stack of books. <laughs> um, so we will just, okay. I was gonna try to break it up with what is for school and what's not. Um, this is for school, the stuff between the stars, how Vera Rubin discovered most of the universe. I saw this on a book list for like um, women's history. I guess it was like a hip women in history or women in science list or something like that. So we, I grabbed that. She had that on hold. Um, let me see. Trying to find the rest of the school books. We grabbed William Still and his Freedom Stories, the father of the Underground Railroad. I have, we're learning about the Underground Railroad and I've never heard of William Still, so I thought that would be interesting. I also got Ona Judge, Outwits the Washingtons, and an, in, an Enslaved Woman Fights for Freedom. Um, let's explore the water cycle. This is for my little guy, obviously. <laughs> He'll listen to all the other ones too, but that is specifically for him. Um, I think that was it. So the rest are just picture books. Unicorns are the worst. Just looks really cute. This is adorable. No hugs for Porcupine. It is 
so cute and he looks really sad. He says, I don't need any hugs from you, but Porcupine really did want a hug. He's adorable. This is the odd one out, a spotting book. So it's really, oh, it has like different, I didn't even look at this. I just said, oh, that sounds good. Okay, so there's like a, um, almost like a little poem about the animals and you have to find which one's different. There's all different animals in there. Sorry, checking on the kids. <laughs> uh, this is beautiful. And I got it because it's beautiful. <laughs> um, it's just called Fox, A Circle of Life Story. No clue what it's about. It looks really, really cute. Uh, let's see. Let's see some of the inside pictures. Gorgeous. Another one that I just like the cover of and looks kind of creepy. My kids like creepy books. It's called Shadow. Um, it says, in the new house, under my new bed, that's where I found Shadow. I don't know what it's about. <laughs> my little guy picked this out, Snow Day for Mouse, which I don't know if we've read. We've read a book about a mouse and it looks familiar, but I'm like, I don't know if it, yeah, it was the same book. No, maybe not. I don't know. Because now all the other ones in the back look familiar too. <laughs> I don't know if we read this one or not, but I've definitely read a book about this mouse. And these, my girls loved these when they were little, The Bears See Escape. And there's a few, a few of these. And my girls loved them when they were little, so I thought my little guy would like it. Um, I just, I think the illustrations are cute. And you could see there's like footprints. You gotta like follow the footprints and see if you could find the bear. It's really cute. Kind of like a Where's Waldo. Um, but there's like a story that goes along with it. Um, snakes on the job. This is so cute. And I don't know, it's just really cute. There's snakes doing all kinds of jobs. There's one with a front loader. And these guys are pushing little carts or something. Really cute. There's a backo. They're making something. So we'll have to wait and see what they're making. I think it might be a playground. I'm not sure. Some kind of park. And this is. Willem B. Stanley's library. It's like a little hamster or something in like a library truck, like a mobile library. I don't know, but I like this book cause it's like puffy. It's like one of those like squishy books. <laughs> uh, it is really cute. I really like it. I think it's gonna be really cute. I think my little guy's gonna like it. Uh, that's it. The girls picked out some books too. Um, I think my, I think they both got some graphic novels. I think that's it. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It'd be awesome. And give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you like library halls and book halls and all that fun stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.